Uh, in this uh, example, I'm going to talk about some of the specifics involved when uh, initializing or constructing objects in a constructor, uh, specifically arrays and array lists um, uh, objects. Uh, so I have a student class here. I have a student class here, so I'll bring that up here, right around here. And it's a pretty basic class. It has the name of the student, has a zero arg and a one argument constructor for the name, and a simple uh, two string to print out the name. And if I look at the student driver, it's uh, pretty straightforward. I create a new uh, object, a senior, and then I print out the uh, senior's uh, uh, statistics using the two string method. So if I run it, you get uh, basically this. Okay, not a problem. So in this, in this example, I want to do a couple things. I want to add. Uh, a couple different things, an array and array list. And I'm going to talk about the specifics of how to uh, declare them as an instance variable and how to construct them in the constructor specifically. Fix some spacing here. Okay. So uh, I'm going to create a private uh, array of the student's uh, grades. So it's going to be a double uh, array of doubles Okay. Uh, called grades, which will hold the grades for each of the student's classes. And also a private uh, a, um, array list of strings that's going to hold their activities, so activities that they're involved in. Okay, and I probably need to do this as well. Uh, import uh, java.util.array list. Okay, so two different uh, types of arrays, an array and array list specifically. Uh, in the class. So notice how I um, uh, have the name of the array grades and name of the array list activities, but I don't actually create them. In other words, I don't use the word new. That's actually done here in the constructor. So I'll say grades equals new, and I'm going to, this is going to be double, double, and I'm, you, you could have many different uh, types of classes or many different numbers of classes, but I'll just say for sake of simplicity, two classes. That actually be a nice schedule. And I'll say activ activities equals new array lists of strings. So that basically the name, uh, the names of activities. Okay. So, um, Basically, what I'm doing is here, I'm declaring that I'm going to have an array of doubles called grades for your grades 3.1, 4.2, whatever those whatever those grades are, GPA-wise, and an array list of strings for activities. Uh, so football, water polo, um, uh, speech and debate, uh, if you're involved in the, the play or the musicals, you can put those in there as strings, okay? But notice how I don't use the word new here. I use the word new down here in the constructor. And as well, I probably should do that here. So I'll say grades equals new double. Again, you probably have more than two classes, but I'll just to keep it simple here. And activities new array list of string right there. Okay, and. Um, here in the in the the uh, constructor, I again create the actual array, and I could populate it with grades here, okay? And I could populate it with activities. In fact, we'll just we'll do that. So let's say you have two classes. I'll say grades the zeroth element equals a 4.0. Grades let's see that's uh, computer science is equal to a 4.0, okay? And they for the activities activities dot add because we're dealing with an array list dot add uh, speech and debate and act dot add okay so those are your activities and you can add as many as you like there. Uh, but again, in the big scheme of things, what I'm tr for this for the ex this example, I'm trying to show that here we declare the type of variable we're going to have, and in the constructor, that's where we actually actually create the array or array list. And same thing here, we actually create the array or array list and populate it with information. Okay, and likewise, we'll probably go down here and we will have to 
uh, let's see here, we'll add some status here. Uh, we'll say plus, and we'll go down here and say grades are and the second grade here uh, grades one typically you probably use with a for loop to go through all the grades but I'm just going to simplify here and I'll say activities are activities dot get the zeroth activity with a space and activities dot get the first element okay and I think that should work compile it uh, activities with a oh we need a plus sign right here okay compile grades with an S compile okay so um, I guess we can see the difference here. I'll make this 4.0 or 3.5 so we can see that there's two different numbers here. Uh, so again, uh, I'm adding two instance variables, one an array, one an array list. I don't actually say new here. I actually create it in the constructor where I construct all uh, variables or initialize all variables. Two doubles for the grades, uh, an array list of strings for the activities. I create the same uh, two uh, element array in the two in the constructor, populate it, create an array list with the word new. The key thing is the word new here. That's where I actually create things. And you can see here I do that with string as well, which is also an object. And then I populate the array and the array list, and then I can print them out. So let's see if I compile all of this and see if it works. And without some spacing, I got to fix some spacing issues here. Let me go back here and fix up some spacing. I'll add in a backslash n right there, and I'll back backslash n right there. Oops. Compile. And so you can see here, I've uh, created a uh, a student object. Added in an, a, an array of doubles for the GPA and an array list of uh, activities. And I have speech and debate in football. Okay. And the main idea in this uh, video is to show that when I create these instance variables in the, in, the, in the class, I declare them here. I show what I'm going to have, but then I don't actually create them, or I use the word new specifically, into, a, into the constructor. And as well, when I do that, I can actually populate the array and or array list.